G'day, Ben from Melbourne here. And what do you know, another bloody tag. What's going on? All you northerners, it's getting cold, I can tell, because you're all locked at home, got nothing better to do than make heaps of friggin' videos. Go away for a little while for Christmas and New Year. I come back, flooded. YouTube's full of them. It's really hard to keep up at the moment while the sun is shining outside in beautiful Melbourne town here but I'll do my best. Anyway, let's get to the point of the matter. And what I'm gonna do today is the other vinyl tag, which Stunt Rock Confusion come up with the questions. I've seen a few people have done this. Uh, like how Rob Walker does his vinyl tag every year. Stunty has done them, I think, infrequently. Um, and he comes up with an, alt an alternative set of questions, so let's jump in. The first question, show the longest vinyl quest you finally got in 2023. Well, there were two I was pretty happy with. The New Christ's Divine Rights. Now, this is kind of like a comp of all of their great seven inches, which... I have tracked down, but this just plays really well as a long player. Um, I had a copy of this on Bang Records, but I always wanted a bad boy on um, Citadel, because Citadel Records just sound fantastic and have heaps of grunt in them. Like, and, you know, it's the new Christ, Rob Younger. What more can you ask for? Awesome record. But the jewel. This is one, like, it was one I didn't even want to think about because I didn't think I'd even get it. So I don't know if you could say there was even a quest for it because I put it out of my mind. But there it was. God. Seven inch, my pal. Classic Australian punk rock awesomeness. There they are. Never, ever thought I would own this on Orgogo too. If you can see in the corner there, brilliant stuff on the All Go Go label. So they were two things I was very happy to get in 2023. Now for the second question, show the best deal you got in 2023. Don't really, I don't know, if I see something and it's something I want, I get it, you know, within reason. So I don't really do deals. They're all kind of deals to me because if I haven't got it and then I see it and I want it, I get it. To me, that's a great deal. Kind of like that. Don't know if that answers your question, but not really a wheeler and dealer. Um, don't really shop around to a certain degree because I want it now. Third question. Show a record from a brand new band or artist you got into in 2023. Lewis Coleman um, and his great record, Offline. Uh, I reckon he might have been listening to a bit of that uh, Simon Joyner, David Nance, Omaha, kind of rural indie sound is what I want to call it. Just great tunes. Cool uh, song craft, I suppose for the want of a better word, but just jangling, ramshackle, good stuff. Okay, number four, show a record people would be surprised that you got in 2023. By the way, these are all Australian artists, so that's what I do. I don't know if this is surprising for you, but it was surprising to me. Didn't think I'd ever own a Bee Gees record. But now I own three, including this, Bee Gees Odessa. Because growing up, I just associated the Bee Gees with disco, man. Um, this is a bit of a pop psych masterpiece, and it's nice and furry too. So it's very happy to get that. And are you surprised? I don't know. I'm surprised. Right. Show a record you got in 2023, thanks to the BC. Now, this is a bit convoluted and a bit of a story. Anyway, 
I already had this record by Body Type. Um, great all girl indie rockers. Um, and I saw Mike Vinyl Spiral show this record, and I'm pretty sure it was him who mentioned, oh, they've got a new record coming out. And I'd kind of forgotten all about um, this band because I, you know, you know how you have like records, the band that you're into at the time, and then you get right into it, and then that goes on the shelf and you move on to the next thing. Anyway, I was like, that's right. And I pulled these out and they were as awesome as I remembered. And that led me to buy the new one from this year, Expired Candy. A little bit more polished, more pop in the indie rock, but still a great, great record. And so thank you, Mike Vinyl Spiral for uh, putting the body type up on the screen to put it back in the old Rankin's noggin led me to the new one. Okay, what else we got here? Up to number six. Show a record from your teens you got or upgraded to vinyl in 2023. I bought these two at the same time. I was gonna be trying cool and indie, but no, I'm gonna just be, go with these and they were, Hunters and Collectors, What's a Few Men, just great Australian rock band um, with an awesome horn section. Started off as this weird punk funk experimental thing and then turned into pretty damn good songwriters who kind of rocked pretty hard but could stick in a really good ballad as well. Kind of, if you like me not all, you might like Hunters and Collectors as well. Um, yeah, this has got the great song, Do You See What I See? Um, what are you waiting for? And and the slowy, which I like, is called Still Hanging Round. And at the same time, I bought this, the, which was the follow-up Hunters and Collectors record. This one might be, I don't know, I feel like this one's a bit more maligned, but Ghost Nation, I love that. I had both of these on cassette, and when I saw them um, for a, a decent price in the second-hand bin, I thought I'll snap these up. So these had the single, I think it was uh, When the River Runs Dry. And I'm not sure what the other single was off this now. I can't remember. A little while ago. They're both like, I think, 87 for this one and around 89 for this one. But worth checking out if you like that Australian pub rock sound from the 80s. Uh, all right, let's get to the next question. Show a favourite cover sleeve you got in 2023. Now, I assume that means just one that looks appealing to you. And this one was appealing to me. Um, yeah, Sydney band called Hard Copy. Uh, I don't know. Do you like that? Just for some reason, it just does it for me. Really good on the great Feel It Records label. Um, been snapping up a few things on that label. It's not just Australian stuff, whole lot of good stuff on there. Check out the band Advertisement. Whoa. Great, great indie sort of rock pop stuff. Catchy as hell. Now a question I found quite funny. Show Number eight, show a band you wish didn't release an album in 2023. <laughs> my first thing that came to my mind was Anyone with an acoustic guitar wearing a cardigan singing slow songs about their feelings, and there's a lot of them, usually came from vocal talent shows or the school of Ed Sheeran bullshit. Um, yeah, they can all fuck off as far as I'm concerned, but I thought I would stick within my realm because, disappointingly, I didn't want to say this, but I love the hard-ons. And the Hard Ons have kind of reformed in a weird way, and they released a record with a new lead singer. That's right. Tim Rogers from You and My. I love the first three You and My records. They're amazing, and things kind of went downhill from there. And uh, Tim Rogers, shall we say, has turned into quite the wanker. And I just don't think they fit together at all. Um, I'm going to be honest, I haven't heard much, but what I have heard did not do it for me at all. Okay. Uh, number nine. 
show a record you got as a president, as a president. Maybe the uh, all that election shit over in the US that I see on the news every night is in there somewhere. What a shit show. Show a record you got as a present or VCLT in 2023. Well, people don't really give me records for presents because they're always like, ah, oh, he's probably already got it. Ah, oh, he's difficult to buy for. I don't know what he likes, blah, 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 all that sort of thing. I see them all as presents to myself. But I did get some VCLT, but not um, vinyl. I got two great CDs. Mike Grogan, you may recognize that face of the uh, PC-31, the vinyl policeman, the doyen of the box set. This is the great man's solo work, yep, as well as his Kinks tribute band. He makes original music, and these, I've got to say, are crackers. Really good, reflective stuff. I really enjoyed both of these, particularly... Um, this one, My Brave Soldier, yeah, if the, uh, if he's not too shy, maybe hit the great man up and say, hey, send me some of your shit, because it's awesome. All right. And John D, remember John D from Down Under Tunage, has not made a video in a long time. Out of the blue, he just sent me this. He said he already had it and saw it in a um, second-hand shop and couldn't go home without it and thought, I know who would like that. And he's not wrong. This is um, House of Hits by Jane Albert, which is uh, tracing like the story of Alberts, which is the start off, I think, as the publishing company and then become a record label, which, of course, had... The Easy Beats, um, Vander and Young songwriting team, uh, The Angels, ACDC, of course, Stevie Wright, solo stuff, Ted Mulry and the Ted Mulry gang, sorry, Flash in the Pan, which was um, Vander and Young disguised as pop stars, uh, even John Paul Young, pop stuff like that. But um, yet to sink my teeth into this yet, John, because if I'm reading the Kid Congo Powers autobiography at the moment, but I'm looking forward to it. Okie dokie, where are we? Name a VC channel that showed a record in 2023 that you are jealous of. Well, pretty much every time, Ghana, he seems to be off the air as well at the moment, Ghana Harris of uh, Born Out of Time, the king of the Garage Rock 67 inch. Every time he has a show, he plays stuff that I've never heard and sounds absolutely amazing it's all killer no filler just banger after banger so jealous he must have the best seven inch collection out there probably only second to him would be uh berwickshire mike with the collection of seven inches he has of his days in the late 70s when he was a young punk man the great shit he has got um whew, you know i did a little thread thing before Christmas where I said can and the last question was can I have your records when you die man I'll not that I wish you guys a quick death love yous but I'll be knocking on your door as soon as I hear anything um and one more John from Bip Bop Boom he again a lot of great seven inches um a lot of good records but he kind of more rock and roll but Rock and roll from back in the day right up to now. Anything that's got that rock and roll swagger and he, yeah, he digs deep and finds some great, great obscure stuff. So jealous of everything they show. Every time they're on, it's always like, oh, can I find that? Can I find that? And it's like always I go online. It's like, oh, that's 80 bazillion dollars because they bought it back in the day. All right. That was a very long answer to that question. So let's get to the next one. Number 11, show a record you bought because of a credit or connection that is not the main artist. So this one is by a, a band called The Chimers. If you like, who the bloody hell are they? Well, of course, the next bit won't surprise anyone at all. I found out 
that this band was mastered and recorded by the great Mikey Young. Of course I'm gonna buy that. Of course. Mikey Young, who's he? New people. He was the guitarist for Eddie Current and the Suppression Ring, um, Total Control, oh, what else, bloody Power Supply, Auger Boogers, great, great bands. And he's got a ton of production credits, whether it's recording bands um, or mastering, like, he's a busy boy. All right, number 12, an artist you hope to see a new album or a reissue from in 2024. Well, I'd like to see a new album and I think we might, because he said he was gonna get to work last year. And that was Nick Cave, and specifically a Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds records. Always evolving. They seem to like have a like a three or four albums which are within a uh, theme, and I think that you know Push the Sky, um, Skeleton Tree, and this one Ghosting all like sit together. Just beautiful records. Um, and then there was the lockdown record, Carnage, which was just a collaboration between him and Warren Ellis. So it'd be really interesting to see what happens next, where they take it. Because Carnage was a bit of a departure from these, but it's obviously not a Bad Seeds record, a different kind of thing. And it'll be interesting to see what the um, current lineup of the Bad Seeds will be. So always... Always intrigued to see what Nick Cave does next. Last question. Show a band or record you want to spend more time investigating and listening to in 2024. Well, one of my favourite records of last year was Bad Dreams album. Hoo-ha! And I absolutely love this record. And a lot of other people must have loved it too because of... Um, they decided to reissue a bit of their back catalogue. So I snapped up those. So there's, I think this is an EP, um, Bad Dreams, Bad Lands. Bad Dreams, Dogs at Bay, full length. Uh, and Bad Dreams, love the name of this one, Gutful. So, yeah, thought I would investigate them further because I really dig the new album and looking forward to digging into them a bit more. Already had one listen to all of them and yeah, it's like it's in that ballpark for sure, but yeah, potentially great stuff like the um, album Hoo-Ha from last year. Anyway, I'll shut up because I've rambled on long enough and uh, go check out Stunty's um, original The other vinyl tag and there's probably a few other people i'll um I'll leave his link to his channel below so thanks for checking this one out and i'll see you in the next one